mtazamaji hatimaye subra imevuta heri nilikujuza kwamba nitakuwa naye Eric Mitoro katika awamu ya pili tuweze kuzungumzia masuala ya mpira wa vikapu kumbuka timu ya taifa Morans itakuwa na safiri eh, kuelekea maeneo ya Rwanda ila kabla kumleta ndani eh, mtazamaji nilikuwa nimekupa fursa ya kuweza kusema nami kwenye mtandao wa Twitter ambapo nimekuuliza kwamba matarajio yako ni yepi eh, kwa timu ya taifa ya Morans hususan wanaposafiri kuelekea Kigali kuweza kushiriki Afro Basket eh, mkondo wa kwanza unaweza kusema nami at makali john 8 at owano nation at Metropol TV KE alama ya siku zote ni kapu la sport ni kujuze tu kwamba mtazamaji timu ya taifa ya Morans itakuwa inasafiri eh, tarehe ya 25 na, na wako katika kundi ba eh, kundi ambalo linaweza kujumuisha uh, taifa la Kenya nazungumzia Morans kisha kuna Senegal uh, kumbuka Morans uh, wameshiriki shindano hili la mabara mara tatu kisha uh, Senegal wamekuepo kat, uh, mara 23 kisha Mozambique uh, wakiwa wameshiriki mara 14 Angola uh, vile vile wako katika kundi hili wakiwa ndio miamba uh, wameshiriki pia vile vile takriban mara 20 ni tuangalie uh, ndio kundi hili ambalo linajumuisha Kenya, Senegal na Mozambique na Angola. Nimlete ndani uh, Eric Mtoro. Shukran sana kwa kuweza kutenga muda. Asante sana. Uh, wewe kama nahodha labda uh, hali imekuwa vipi tangia janga la corona? Uh, imekuwa ngumu kidogo. Naam. Kwa sababu unapata kwa mazoezi kila mtu ana training na isolation. Naam. Na imekuwa shida sana kwa sababu ile team chemistry Nam. kidogo ilipotea imekuwa ni ngumu sana eh, imekuwa ni ngumu sana na mshikilia papa wapo Eric Mtoro huyu ni nahodha wa timu ya Morans ila nataka tutazame uh, kanda hii wakati wa uzinduzi wa uga wa nyayo eh, mapema mwezi jana hivi eh, rais akizindua uga wa nyayo ambao umekuwa uh, ukifanyiwa karabati kwa takriban miaka mitatu Eric Mtoro huyu ambaye niko naye hapa ndani ya jengo alikuwa katika hafla hiyo na vile vile alianza kuzungumza uh, na rais wa taifa la Kenya Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta tuweze kusikia kauli yake Your Excellency sir I would like to say thank you for this wonderful facility that has been renovated because for us sportsmen uh, with this facility it will help us enhance our talents and uh, take it to greater heights so your excellency sir I like to thank you for that and uh, also sir I'll also like to thank you for the support through the Ministry of Sports that you've been giving uh, all the teams that are we've been going out there traveling and are representing the country and raising our flag high and we as sportsmen we have uh, promised that in any uh, or any tournament or any game that you're going to represent Kenya with this kind of facility we are going to make sure that uh, the Kenyan flag will raise high and uh, will take Kenya to the map in sporting events uh, lastly your excellency sir on the behalf of the basketball team Kenya Morans uh, we would like to thank you for the support that you gave us last year so that uh, we were able to achieve what you achieved and for the first time we will be representing uh, Kenya in the Africa basketball tournament FIBA for the first time we've qualified and it is because through your office that we were able to reach there and uh, we just thank you we say thank you excellency sir and uh, tunaomba uendelee kutusupport hivyo hivyo. Eh. I'm a service member of the Kenya Defence Forces as a profession and uh, currently po, uh, based at uh, Thika Barracks. Your Excellency sir. Ndio kauli yake Eric Mtoro huyu akizungumza uh, kwa rais kwamba ilikuwa ni mara yao ya kwanza ni kupitia ofisi ya rais wameweza kufanya kweli kuhakikisha kwamba bendera ya Kenya inaweza kupepea Eric Yes. Um, apo rais ukamhakikishia mbele ya umma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shindano sasa la mwaka huu mm. ambalo utakuwa Rwanda Kigali. Rais umemwambia kwamba uh, mtaweza kufanya kweli katika shindano lolote ambalo mnaweza uh, kushiriki na janga mm. la corona kama tulivyozungumza tume, umesema kwamba limeathiri sana. Mm. Sasa hivi itakuwa ni vipi? Rais atarajie yapi? Eh, matarajio bado ni ile ile yenye nilimwambia. Sio kwa na mdanganya. Hivyo hivyo. Mm. Tulipata nafasi E, Ministry of Sports walitukubalisha wali tuwaze mazoezi no. ya stadium mm. since October tumekuwa hapo na so far tumeza kupolish zile areas zilikuwa na shida hiyo mm. team cohesion e, team chemistry at least tuliweza kupatana juu fitness set ilikuwa imepotea e, tulikuwa na train kila mtu peke yake nyumbani 
unaamka asubuhi unakimbia unaunua chuma kidogo mm. e, vitu kama hizo bolu kidogo pia ilikuwa tunafanya sasa since october tumekuwa pamoja tume train wale international players kama Preston Bungei ameweza kutujoin Erio local kutoka Algeria aliweza kufika na tunaendelea tunasukuma na mm. tunajitayarisha vile umesema hii group B mm. sio rahisi lakini pia sisi si ati pia sisi ni wanyonge mm. pia si tuko hapo tutaenda kujitahidi nao na for the first time tunataka kuhakikisha lazima to participate kwa FIBA Africa kwa the last time tulikuwa hapo was it ilikuwa 1993 mm. na takriban miaka 27 hivi eh na ni kwa sababu tulikuwa tuna host mm. now this time tutataka tuende na tukualify mm. acha yeah. nikurejeshe nyuma kidogo uh, Eric mm-hmm. uh, mwaka 2019 Kenya pia ilionekana kuwa uh, ni taifa ambalo labda halingeweza kufanya kweli katika shindano na mkaweza kutoa uh, nishani ya fedha amlipiga um, mm. finali dhidi ya DRC Congo yeah. uh, japo mlipoteza mechi hiyo uh-huh. labda ilikuwa vipi kwanza kitu ya kwanza kwa hiyo tournament mzima hakuna mtu alijua Kenya itafika hapo e, watu walikuwa natuangalia wanasema hii ndio mara ya kwanza kufika hapa na hizo team zingine wako na experience na kadhalika vitu kama hizo so tulishtua watu kwanza kufika hapo mm-hmm. juu sisi tulikuwa tumesema si tutaenda tutacheza mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunachukua one game at a time game ya kwanza bado tulipoteza sijui kama unakumbuka e, mm-hmm. bado Congo walituchapa mm-hmm ikatushtua so kila mtu ni kama walitu write off mm. but sasa kutoka hapo pole pole nakumbuka tukacheza na Nigeria tukacheza na Cote d'Ivoire tukaingia kidogo eh, knockout round mm. knockout round tukapatana na Tunisia Tunisia actually ndio walikuwa defending champions mm. wa hiyo nini so walikuwa na write off lakini sasa sisi hivyo hivyo tu one game at a time mpaka mm. tukafika finals kidogo kwa finali naweza sema i think pia sisi vile tulifika hapo tukaona ni kama ime yani kama tumefika lakini hmm. juu hata sio yenyewe tuko tunatarajia kufika hapo e, lakini ni vile one game at a time one game at a time mpaka tukafika finali hmm. e, lakini sasa zile mistakes kidogo kidogo hapo hmm. around the third quarter hapo hmm. ndo tukaipoteza labda sasa hivi manake eh, wizara ya michezo pamoja na wizara afya walikuwa wamesema kwamba hmm. um, mchezo wa basketball ya amjakuwa mazoezi yenu na wamekubalia kurejea tu kwa sababu hmm. ya shindano hmm. la afro basket labda hmm. mmekuwa kambini kwa muda gani na ni yepi ambayo umekuwa mnaangazia kwa sana tumekuwa kambi kutoka first of november hmm. tumekuwa kwa kambi na strategy yetu bado ni ile ile unajua wa Kenya wa Kenya wote hata wewe Na. kila mtu ana mbio hiyo iko ndani yetu na hiyo ndio kitu sasa utumia Na. aggression na speed hiyo mm. ndio kitu bado tumekuwa tukiwakia ball work kidogo na ku make sure fitness yetu iende on a level that uh, level ya juu kwa sababu unajua hizi nchi zingine pumzi ni kama hawana tukianza kucheza nao kuota ya kwanza kuota ya pili wako sawa kuota ya tatu ukiangalia hata vile wanapumua mm. ni kama wamechoka sana eh sasa hiyo ndio kitu sisi utegemea hapo hapo. Ile sasa sasa wamechoka ndio sasa sisi sasa tunda peleka game Meza. kwa nini kujituma. Eh, kujituma. Uh, mm. tuangalie mechi ambayo mmecheza mechi ya mwisho ambayo mlicheza dhidi ya Sudan. Bleza kuibuka ushindi lakini mm. kidogo kulitokea purukushani katika uwanja wa uh, gymnasium hapa Nairobi katika uwanja wa Nyayo. Eh. Uh, Mliweza kushinda mkielekea katika shindano hili la Afro Basket. Labda tuzungumzie hiyo mechi ya Sudan. Ni yepi ambayo manake mlicheza vizuri niliona mm. Griffin Ligare baadhi ya wachezaji mm. walionyesha mchezo mzuri. Mm. Labda kutoka kwa hiyo mechi dhidi ya Sudan ni taifa pia ambalo limeweza kusta inafanya vizuri. Ah mlijifunza vipi kutoka kwa mechi hiyo? Kitu ya kwanza yenye tulijifunza kutoka kwa hiyo mechi ni kwanza usi waicheza na crowd. Na na, na fikiri hiyo ndo makosa ya kwanza South Sudan walifanya kwa sababu ukiangalia hao wachezaji walikuwa wameleta ni wazuri sana. Na ukiangalia mali wanacheza, karibu wote wanacheza eh, Amerika huko hmm. na Canada. Lakini sasa crowd vile ilikuwa pale unajua walijaza Nam, walijaza uwanja wetu kabisa niliona wa Kenya waliingia katika e, uwanja kaleta e, tashishi kidogo ikaleta shida sana Nam. E, sasa au i think focus yao yote ilikuwa kwa crowd wakasahau bado game ijachezwa yes na hapo ndo kocha wetu tunampenda sana Cliff Ward mm-hmm. alikuja katukalisha chini akatuambia hii game tutaishinda na urahisi sana Nam. kwa sababu gani hao watu tayari focus yao washaitoa kwa game hiyo ndio kitu moja pia sisi tumeshalan mm-hmm. ndio kwa maana sasa hizi ndio unajua lazima sasa hizi vile tunashinda mashabiki wako na tunashukuru sana vile wanaendelea kutusupport lakini sasa sisi kama wachezaji kitu inafaa tufanye ni kufocus kwa game 
e, juu lazima tuende juu hao mashabiki wetu nyo support atake kuwa disappoint Nam. so sisi lazima tu focus kwa game hiyo ni lazima Nda, ndio mm. kauli yake Eric Butoro anasema kwamba lazima wayake akili zao katika mechi ambazo wanaweza kushiriki. Umemzungumzia Priston Bungei ni mchezaji eh, ambaye anashiriki kule Australia. Ni mchezaji ambaye amecheza Bosnia, amecheza vile vile Croatia na vile vile aliweza kuwasili. Walikuwa wamesuto sana kwa maana yake wamekubaliwa na vilabu vyao kuweza kufika humo nchini na wameweza uh, kukubaliwa wametua uh, nchini siku ya Jumanne wiki jana waliweza kutua nchini uh, kuweza kuwakilisha taifa na tayari wanafanya ma mazoezi a uh, tuweza kuzungu, uh, kuzungumza naye na tupate kauli yake uh, kusiana na kurejea nchini kuweza kuwakilisha taifa. So, my name is Preston Bugge, uh, as you all know. Uh, professional I played in Croatia my first season um, and then last season I played in Bosnia. Uh, I was signed to play in Australia this year but it got shut down because of the pandemic. So, um, what convinced me to come back to play for Kenya is my father is from here, he's from Cap Sabit. Um, unfortunately I never got to come back with him. I mean, he passed away in 2011, so it's always been a dream of mine to come back to Kenya and to get to wear the national colors and play a game I love. Um, it just made sense. Um, and I saw the team had been having some recent success with their silver medal in the African uh, tournament, and I thought, no better time to come play than now. So, uh, As a player, it's great. To play on a national stage uh, for any country is a blessing. You know, there's only so many players out there that get this opportunity. So I'm just blessed and grateful to play against the best talent in Africa and just get to play the game I love you know a lot of people are, can't play right now because of this pandemic so just thankful to have the opportunity to keep playing especially for Kenya as well Nio Princeton Bungei huyo ambaye ni mchezaji ambaye ana tajriba ya hali ya juu. Uh, Eric Mtoro baadhi ya wachezaji kama Joel uh, Awich huyo pia pamoja na Princeton Bungei wamekwishasili uh, kuwakilisha timu ya taifa. Labda toa mwelekezo wangu akinipatia tu baadhi ya wachezaji ambao wameweza kuitwa. Uh, Ujio wao kwa kwenu inaashiria ina nini? Uh, uh, unajua hao wamekuwa kicheza on a international level eh? Na Na kuna a kind of experience ambayo wanaleta kwetu. Naam. Na hiyo ndio pia si, kuna vitu mingi tunajifunza kutoka kwao na kuna vitu mingi pia wanajifunza kutoka kwetu. Na hiyo kitu ita, utapata ita boost sana morali ya team. Naam. Na ita boost sana dini eh, cohesion ya team. Naam. E, itaingiana vizuri juu. Kuna mwingine pia Taylor Ukari. Taylor Naam. Taylor Ukari yako kule Denmark. Naam. E, wanale, kuna experience fulani wanaletanga mm. ya huko ambayo yutusaidia. Naam. Eh, juu pia sisi tuko willing to learn from them ile kitu wameji ile, ile game ya huko vile iko. Mm. Na alafu najua pia hao wachezaji kama Senegal, hii Senegal na Angola. Naam. Preston mtu kama Preston Bungei, mtu kama Taylor, mm. mtu kama Iri Lokal amecheza nao huko mm. nje nje. So ni watu wanajua na so unaangalia watatueleza hao watu wako vipi? Mm. Nini nini wanatupatia their weak and strong points? Na. Yes. Ah uh, umemzungumzia Taylor uh, na nakumbuka mwaka 2019 mm. alikuwa ni mfungaji bora mm. yuko kwenye kikosi. Mm. Uh, unasema pia Bungei pia anafahamu uh, kikosi. Labda kukuwa na hao wachezaji ambao wana haiba kubwa uh, na labda hao wamekuwa na shiriki katika mataifa yao wamekuwa na shiriki. Mm. Labda mipango yenu ni kwamba mtahakikisha kwamba uh, hawa ndio wanapewa nafasi ya kwanza au ni vipi ama kufikia sasa mmefanya mazoezi pamoja na mnakubali kwamba uh, mkicheza kama uh, wachezaji kwa, kwa, kwa ujumla pamoja mtaweza mm. kufanikisha vile mimi namjua coach vizuri Nam. atachanganya Nam. atachanganyisha international na hawa local atachanganyisha Nam. according na vile yeye anaona iko fit team iko, iko, eh, team iko. juu kama saizi wametoka huko tumeingia wote kambini pamoja Nam. kila mtu sasa kwa macho ya coach Nam. ni equal unaona eh. kweli kabisa uh, kabla, labda kabla kusonga mbele tupate kauli yake uh, Preston Bungei vile vile uh, kuhusu na maraki ni mara yake ya kwanza zazu wake ni wa Kenya lakini mm. anaka, wengi wanasema kwamba asili yake labda <laughs> ni Mwingereza, Marekani au vipi <laughs> ila tupate kauli yake kuhusiana na ujio wake uh, na familia yake huko nchini Uh, look, I mean, you can't discount anybody, um, especially on this stage. And if you go in with that mindset thinking you're better than someone, you're going to lose. Um, but for example, in our group, we have Angola. They just played in the World Championship last year. So you can't take anyone lightly. Um, but as well, we got a good group of guys here. We're hungry. We want to win. And we want to prove to Africa and to the world that Kenya's here. Our basketball is up and coming. And we're ready to show what we can do. Honestly, it's still a bit surreal. This is my third day being here. So um, it's starting to set in. But just the magnitude of it, uh, it's amazing. Uh, I know my father would be proud. I know my family back in Cap Sabbath is happy. Um, so just to get this opportunity, like I said, it's a blessing. And uh, for me, it's, it's great. Uh, my family's excited. Everyone's excited. So it's a great opportunity for me.
Na ndio kauli yake huyo Christian Bugia anasema kwamba anafurahia kuwa nchini. Labda kikosi ndio hicho uh, 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 Griffin Ligare, uh, Fahim Juma, Victor Bosire ni baadhi ya wachezaji ambao wameweza kuita uh, katika uh, timu. Uh, Joel Owich huyo anasema kwamba pia ni kinda na ni atakuwa anacheza kwa mara ya kwanza. Eh mara ya kwanza. Naam. Uh, uh, labda kikosi hichi wewe binafsi kikosi ambacho kiliweza kutajwa uh -huh. wakiona vipi? Ni kikosi iko sawa. Naam. Iko sawa juu. Kitu ya kwanza iko na vijana. E, ukiangalia age bracket hapo iko na vijana si si wazee sana e, so hii kikosi iko sawa na iko tayari na tumekuwa tukicheza pamoja hivi hivi mm. so, kwa muda uh, labda kuna 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 uh, wachezaji ambao uh, wengi ambao kushiriki mwaka 2019 mm. uh, mali bamako uh, labda ujio wako umesema kwamba wataweza kupatia motisha na kuhakikisha kwamba mnaweza kufanya uh, vizuri mkielekea uh, katika uh, taifa la Kigali okay. uh, Rwanda. Uh, katika kundi ambalo mko, kundi ba, uh, Morant, uh, Pale, Senegal, Mozambique na Angola. Labda mmejipangaje? Maana yake nikiangalia haya mataifa ni mataifa ambayo umeweza kustawi na ukiangalia hata kwa uh, FIBA ile ile rankings, uh, taifa la Kenya ndio taifa ambalo liko katika na, na nafasi ya uh, 20 na ngapi? 23 hivi kama. Chini, iko chini yeah, sana. Iko chini, iko chini. Kwa hivyo mmejipanga vipi mkiangalia uh, kundi hili? Kwa hiyo kundi kitu ya kwanza labda mechi za kushinda ambazo umepanga kwamba hii mechi ya ufunguzi hivi mm -hmm. na hivi tunakwenda ni mechi ambazo lazima tushinde. Eh ukiangalia mechi kama ya Mozambique hiyo lazima tushinde. Naam. Hiyo lazima tushinde. Haya. Mechi kama unajua kama Senegal pale haitakuwa rais hivyo. Lakini atusemi ati iwezekani mm -hmm. but itakuwa rais. Maana unajua wale ni wakubwa kutushinda na wana nguvu. Eh hiyo haitakuwa rais. Lakini Mozambique na Angola pia Jumi na Angola tukijikaza vizuri tukijitahidi tutawashinda Angola na Mozambique. Ah, uh, ukisema kwamba uh, Angola na Mozambique uh, lazima mweze kushinda. Nadhani mm. uh, lazima maliza katika nafasi ya tatu bora yeah. ili kuhakikisha kwamba mnafuzu katika uh, raundi ya tatu. Mm. Labda mkienda hasa katika mashindano hili, mm. labda unaona kama nafasi hiyo huenda mka, mkaibukia? Hiyo eh, hiyo nafasi. Naam. Mwanamwambia rais bana. Yeye nafasi vile mimi naona. <laughs> tuko ndani. Mko ndani. Tuko ndani. Ah, nilikuwa nili nazungumza na mwenzangu hapa hivi ah, katika awamu ya kwanza Shafizele mm -hmm. na timu ya taifa Harambe Stars wamecheza ah, majuzi mm -hmm. na waliweza kupewa motisha ya takriban shilingi alf, uh, milioni mbili nukta tano mm -hmm. ah, kisha naibu rais akaweza kupatia ah, milioni moja. Mm -hmm. Na hivi majuzi weekend uh, katika uwanja wa gymnasium pale ambapo unafanya mazoezi mm -hmm. uh, kulikuwa na mchezaji wa zamani bwana Owalo ambaye pia aliweza kushiriki katika timu ya Morans na kwa pale akaweza kuipatia timu ya Morans jezi za kuweza uh, kufanyia mazoezi. Hebu tupate kauli yake vile vile kuhusiana na timu hii ya Morans. Well um, you must understand where I'm coming from. I'm a former basketballer myself. Yeah? I played for both the Kenyatta University basketball team and the Barclays Bank Eagles, okay? So I've got sentimental attachment to basketball. So I'm basically just giving back to the game, okay? We did a lunch with this team, plus the ladies team some time back, and we did say at that point in time that we'll remain ready and available to support basketball, specifically the Morans and the Lioness. So because the Morans are, play, are preparing for the African um, basketball championship, which is taking part in another two weeks, yeah, in Rwanda, Uh, I decided today to come and donate two sets of playing kit to the team. There are actually four sets because they are reversible, <laughs> okay? So this is just a, a drop in the ocean as far as the logistical preparations for the team is concerned. We'll continue liaising with the Kenya Basketball Federation to see where there are gaps uh, so that we can prepare this, help prepare this team adequately for the championship. My joy and of course that is the joy of most members of the basketball fraternity is that this time round we have got an opportunity for a Kenyan basketball team to take part in the world championship so if the Morans can uh, qualify for the world champ basketball championship they shall have done Kenya as a country proud and perhaps that will then give impetus to other Kenyan teams to also perform well and take part in world, uh, on the world stage showcase their talents in the world cup and that will not just be a, a source of revenue for the country but will also be a major boost for the players in their individual capacities because actually basketball is their hustle. Ah uh, Mr. Owalo huyo bwana Owalo ambaye aliweza kuleta fadhili wa jezi za kuweza kufanyia mazoezi. Mm. Labda kuna mfadhili mwingine ambaye ameweza kujitokeza kabla nyinyi kuweza kuelekea Kigali? Ah uh, Sofani bwana Owalo 
na tena nataka kuchukua opportunity tena kumshukuru kwa kudonate hizo uniform but kwa sasa bado bado eh, lakini tunatarajia kama wako Na, wakuje sisi tu maana yake nimeona timu ya eh. taifa Rambe Stars wamepewa kuelekea Comoro pale walikuwa maahidiwa mm. uh, takriban milioni tano mm. na mechi pia nyumbani walikuwa maahidiwa uh, milioni mbili nukta tano naibu rais akapatia milioni moja labda mm. uh, kufikia sasa bado naibu rais hajazungumza hajazungumza lakini tunaomba <laughs> <laughs> pia eh atuangalie kwa sababu tunaenda kupeperusha bendera ya Kenya Naam eh. na, na, na rais ule, wakati ulizungumza katika uga wa nyayo ulisema kwamba mm. amekuwa akiwapatia motisha Mm. Uh, labda kabla kuweza kuelekea uh, Kigali mtaweza kwenda uh, katika ikulu ya rais kuweza kuongea naye kuzungumza naye kabla msafiri kwa sasa sijajua bado naam eh manake sisi tukiwa mazoezi tunangojanga tu kuambiwa naam na wale managers wa team naam wanakojanga tuambia kesho siku fulani fulani mm. tutakuwa mali hapa naam but kwa sahi bado hajatuambia atujui atujui <laughs> na kwa hivyo wanajua wanatazama wana makala ya kapu la sport rais naibu rais na washikada wote ambao wanafadhili michezo nyingine basi timu ya Morans pia kwa sasa inahitaji ufadhili maana wanaenda kuwakilisha taifa la Kenya katika shindano la Afro Basket Kigali Rwanda na siku zote mimi husema kwamba wana michezo ndio mabalozi nambari moja maana yake wanawakilisha taifa la Kenya kabla kumalizia malizia tu e, mtoro tupate kauli ya kocha kuhusiana na matarisho ya timu to the team is uh, uh, so important in the sense that uh, he can play uh, he can play like uh, three positions and uh, that helps us he's a versatile player and we are able to use him uh, at 2 3 and 4 that makes uh, life a little easy and uh, uh, for us and maybe difficult for some of our opponents so I'm very happy to have him included in the team uh, uh, and coming uh, in good time to be able to understand the things that we are doing and be part of the team. Ndio Cliff Oru huyo mkufunzi wa timu ya Morans akimzungumzia Princeton Bungei ambaye nilikujuza awali kwamba amecheza vile katika mataifa ambayo ameweza kustawi Bosnia, Croatia, Australia hivi sasa wanawakilisha taifa la Kenya kwa mara ya kwanza katika shindano la Afro Basket. Labda kwa tukimalizia malizia uh, Eric Mturo labda kauli yako ya mwisho uh, kwa mashabiki ambao wanafuatilia mchezo huu wa basketball nilikuwa nazungumza na, na, na moja wa wanahabari hapa Nina Shaban ambaye ni shabiki sana. Yeah, yeah. Labda watu kama wale watarajie epi? watarajie positive results. Naam. Eh, juu hiki tu tulianza last year. Tumekuwa tukiongelea for over one year na tunataka kukuwa watu wa kwanza kufika hapo mali tunataka kuenda. Mm. So waendelee kutusupport, waendelee kutupatia motisha. Hiyo kitu inatupatia anga sana motisha sana. Tukiangalia wakenya wako nyuma yetu, mm. tukiangalia pale kwenye Twitter wanaongea wanatupatia motisha. So waendelee na wasichoke. E, na pia sisi hatutawaangusha. Naam. Kwa hiyo kabisa la jambo la mwisho uh, mkondo wa kwanza huu unachezwa uh, katika taifa la Rwanda. Labda mkondo wa pili mna matumai kwamba uende kwa nchini Kenya? Hapa. Ambayo ni February mwaka kesho? Inaweza kuwa Mozambique ama Angola. Moja hizo nchi mbili. Naam, Mozambique mm, ama mm. Angola. Yeah. Ndio kauli yake huyu Eric Mtoro na hodha wa timu ya Morans akizungumzia uh, hatma ya timu hiyo ambapo wanasafiri kuelekea Kigali Rwanda kuwakilisha taifa la Kenya. Aliweza kumwahidi rais wa taifa la Kenya Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta wakati uzinduzi kwamba taifa la Kenya litaweza kufanya kweli katika mchezo wa basketball na eh, mashindano mi, mi, yote ambayo wataweza uh, kuwakilisha taifa la Kenya. Tuweke macho tujue itakuwa vipi kikosi tayari kipo hapa hivi uh, kocha huyo Cliff Owora likitaja na naimani kwamba wataweza kuwakilisha taifa la Kenya vile vile mtazamaji kwenye mtandao wa Twitter nimekuuliza kwamba matarajia yako ni yepi kuhusiana uh, na timu ya Moranza wakati ambapo wanaelekea Rwanda uh, kuweza kushiriki uh, mashindano la Afro Basket zidi kusema nami at makali john 8 at one nation Eh, Tumetopol TV KE alama ya release siku zote ni kapu la sporti na kushukuru sana Eric uh, Mtoro kwa kuweza kutenga muda kufika hapa uh, na kutakia kila laheri pamoja na kikosi kizima ukifika kule ombi bana wa Kenya tuko nyuma yenu tu asante ndio mimi nimeshukuru kwa hapa na nashukuru sana kwa wafadhili wote basi zidi zidi kuangalia angalia timu ya Morans itakuwa ni vipi wakati ambapo wanasafiri kuelekea uh, Kigali Rwanda kufikia hapo uh, na kwenda madukani nipate kopo la maji kisha nikirejea awamu ya tatu itakuwa ni makala ya kauli mitani ambayo za kuandaliwa na Jesse Tetei usikende mbali